What's up, everybody? Angelo here, and excuse the mess. House has got so messy since I started doing retail arbitrage. The cleaners used to have to come by like once every two weeks. Now I got them bad boys coming over like once a week, sometimes even twice a week. It's, oh man, it's horrible how much stuff you get laying around the house when you do retail arbitrage. But I just started selling my dead video games here over here on uh, eBay or whatnot, so that's what I got right here you know two packages going out for ebay so we made about 150 bucks um today from them so that's not bad at all literally just stuff that i had you know like that i didn't even count in the sale so if you don't know what dead video games are you know if you're not a land profit members basically that's what i consider uh games that i won't sell on ebay i'm gonna sell on amazon so let's say for example i get a lot that has like 50 games and like 20 of them you know are used video games and the rest are brand new i'll sell the new video games on amazon and then the new I mean, the used ones i'll literally just put in the corner somewhere or something like that you know like literally just just sit around and they probably they pretty like pretty much been just piling up or whatever so decided to go over here sell on ebay or whatnot you guys know how i feel about ebay absolutely well, I mean, it's not really eBay per se. It's PayPal. Cause I fucking hate PayPal with a passion. Um, like PayPal is just horrible when it comes to you know getting scammed. Like it's just ridiculous. So let's say I like literally take this to the um the little uh U not UPS but it's the FedEx place, right? Let's say I take this to the FedEx place, and then you know as soon as I ship it off, they could literally call PayPal and be like, oh, I don't know where this charge came from. I didn't order this, and they will literally be able to keep the packages, the video games. And get their money back, and there's nothing I can fucking do about it. Now, we go, well, you can open up a case. Like, yeah, you can, and there is no guarantee that you'll win. Like, how is there no guarantee you'll win, or at the very least, guarantee get your product back? At least with Amazon, you know, if they don't uh, send the product back within the time limit, you get reimbursed. You know what I'm saying? Like, they could just keep my stuff, and there is nothing that's going to happen to them. Not a goddamn thing. Like... Oh, but they, they can, like, you can put a bad review on their account or something like that. They can, they're a customer. They can literally go and buy another one. It's like the Uber stuff or whatnot, you know. Like, you can go kick, beat someone's head in. They can just deactivate you from the platform. You can literally go open up another one with a gift card from Walmart. Like, it's, it's not going to do anything, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, guys, it's been, ah, uh, just really just don't fuck with PayPal. But we're going to test it out here whatnot, see how everything goes. I mean, it's crazy how fast it's really. I put this big box up here. Um, You know, I put that up there. And like literally like an hour later, it got bought at full price. Like it's crazy that like it didn't for this stuff here. I consider this like all like 100 percent profit because I don't consider it in my sales um, revenue or anything like that. So with the video games, you know, again, like that's brand new or whatnot. I'll buy it because of the brand new games. I won't even include the um, the used games like I won't like count them in my numbers, like predicted shelves. Not those are like all dead video games you know if it costs two hundred dollars for um the lot of 50 and you know, i'm not going to divide it by 50 if 20 of them are used i'm going to divide it by 30 because i'm only planning on selling 30 of them so that's how i've been doing stuff or whatnot and that's how i'm going to continue to do it and then i'll just you know all the dead video games i'll just sell over here on ebay and again it works out pretty smooth i mean literally like you just put it up there and you're good to go and the shipping isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, I had to spend um, 12 bucks for this one right here, which the customer paid for. And then um, this one was only 5 bucks, and the customer paid like 8 bucks, so still has some change left over from that. So, not bad at all, but uh, that is pretty much it, guys. You know, I'll let you guys know how this stuff continues to go. I think we're at about, how much are we at? One second, I'm thinking we just crossed... Trying to see. I'm still, you still new to the eBay stuff, guys. Still new. Just give me a second. All right. So it says we're at two hundred and seven dollars in sales. So not bad, you know. Literally just for putting up a couple of things here. I mean, not bad. And then again, this is like again, I consider this a hundred percent free, you know, because I'm not doing anything. I mean, I don't consider this in my numbers, so it's like I never even paid for it. So about to go drop these off to the FedEx, you know um see if i can find some more stuff whatnot like i'm not really probably gonna actively look for things to sell on ebay i'll probably just do like lots 
I know some people like will sell video game, I mean t-shirts and stuff like that. I'm probably like solely just going to do lots. Like that box right there, you know, that's just some stuff I just put up again. That's another lot. Like I'm probably just gonna mainly just do lots and stuff that I just got laying around the house. If I do DVDs or something, it'll probably be like a lot of video D DVDs. Like I'm not gonna probably just sell like individual items and stuff. Um, I don't know yet. I mean, things could change or whatever, but that's like my plan for right now just to sell like mainly just lots because I don't really want like any basic, typical, you know, like regular customers or whatnot because then that's when you can start getting the fuck faces or whatever. If I can like start like selling to like strictly like business owners, like people who are also going to resell video games, like they'll be like, if I was to sell these used or whatever, I'd have got like probably three times more than what I sold these for, but I don't sell used video games, you know, so someone who's willing to take that risk of selling used video games, they can take the risk, you know, for me, it's just like a hundred percent profit anyway. So that's just my plan for right now. I'll let you guys know how everything goes in the future. But that's pretty much it, guys. So free to like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff.